In the last video, we looked at creating XTS objects from scratch. These were rather contrived, simply to illustrate the mechanics of XTS construction and what XTS objects looked like internally. But most real-life cases, you'll be working with data that already exists, usually from some other process. Maybe it's a time series from a colleague in a different data class. In other cases, you may find yourself importing data from an external source, which may meet all of your criteria for XTS, but it comes from a file instead of another R object. In this chapter, we'll look at converting types using XTS, reading data into R as an XTS object, as well as exporting XTS objects from R for other uses. First, let's take a look at the most useful and simple way to convert most objects you'll encounter in R into XTS. This will work in 90% of cases, as XTS was designed from the beginning to make working with R's myriad time series and time classes as easy and flexible as possible. To illustrate how easy this is, we use the famous sunspots data that ships with R. Sunspots is a TS object, which is fairly challenging to work with as it is regular, i.e. fixed intervals, but it is less intuitive in its structure. To convert, we only need to use as.xts, and you see the series now is well structured and looks like you might expect a time series to look. To import data from the outside, we can follow a similar pattern. Here, we can read data into R using built-in functions such as read.table and coerce into XDS at that point. As we mentioned earlier, since XDS is a proper subclass of Zoo, you can also leverage the powerful tool Zoo provides to make life even easier. Read.Zoo is a great tool to read in data as a time series, and once again, as.XDS will dutifully convert it to its final XDS class, if so desired. Finally, you might be finished with all your data manipulation and transformation in XDS, and you might need to send it along to a process outside of R. Once again, Zoo provides a great function called write.zoo, which will do a lot of the heavy lifting of extracting and formatting your times for you. If you are merely saving data for use in R later, I recommend you save it using the base save RDS function. This is optimized for objects like XDS and makes it fast and efficient to read and write data to disk. Now that you've seen a bit of moving data into and out of XDS, let's give it a try.